Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift video and in today's video I'm gonna be giving you a full beginner's guide to the new champion Volibear. Um, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys how his abilities work and every little part that you need to know about his abilities, how to combo his abilities, some tips and, trick on, tick, tips and tricks on this champion and I'm gonna be giving you guys different builds to play as well. There's timestamps in the description to just skip to whatever you want so let's get to it. Um, unlike Orn, this champion is a lot simpler. It's quite a simple champion to get into. So let's get into it. First of all, the passive of Volibear. Volibear gains 5% attack speed. This skills with bonus magic damage that he has for 6 seconds whenever he deals damage with an ability or an auto attack, stacking up to 5 times. As you can see, you, can, you see the bar under his HP. You can see it stacking up just like Ezreal, you know, whenever he hits an ability. Here you can see, boom, boom, and now he has maximum attack speed. And whenever he uses an ability, any ability as you can see, when it charges up, remember the third ability only gets used as a charge when it does damage, so don't get fooled by it. But whenever he uses a basic attack or an ability, he gets a stack up. As you can see, I'll be bringing it to zero right now again. You can see you could stack up your abilities pretty fast. If you just use a lot of different uh, stacks, you can see I already have it up. So, you know, it may seem like it's going to be hard to get this up. You know, like if you go into an enemy, one, two, three, like, you know, you have to count so slowly. If you combo your abilities properly, like, I, I, I'm just going to do something random here. Like, just to show you how fast you can really get it. Like, look, I've already gotten it. You know what I mean? So, you can get this very fast. So, why is it important to get maximum stacks? Besides the attack speed that it gives you, you know, 5 times 5% is going to be 25% attack speed. Scaling with level, by the way, when you're low level, it's not going to be as much. At 5 stacks, Volibar claws, Volibar's claws ignite with lightning, causing his attacks to do an additional uh, magic damage to the target and 4 closest enemies. Let's look at it. So, these are enemies that are close to each other. As you can see, normal basic attacks only do damage to this dude. And boom, now you can see it's a chain of lightning. You see that? It does lightning damage to all of them. This can be quite good. I mean, if you don't go full AP, this is not going to do that much damage. But it's just a little bit extra damage to have. You know, it's just a little bit extra damage. It doesn't scale with AD or anything like that. Honestly, I wonder if AP Volibear is going to be viable just because of this. But, uh, like, this passive is not that useful like the, the, the lightning damage is not that useful perhaps it can be useful for clearing your jungle or clearing waves but like for damage it's not gonna do that much damage now let's talk about the first ability you can see the first ability like you know like warwick's second ability but also you stun the enemies for if i use it i gain bonus bonus movement speed as you can see you know clearly i am a bit faster However, you get a lot of bonus movement speed. It's going to be going up to 50% when you're moving to an enemy, as you can see. You see, when I'm moving to enemies, it's a lot faster than when I'm just, just moving somewhere else. If it's towards an enemy, you can see it's a lot faster. So what happens if you basic attack an enemy? You know, your normal basic attack doesn't do anything. When you use your first ability, boom, it stuns the enemy. So you're going to get a stun. It stuns the enemy and uh, yeah. It just stuns the enemy. Also, this cancels your basic attack. So, basic attack first ability. So, it cancels your basic attack and it stuns the enemy. This is a really good tool for ganking. Like, you can use it like this to gank an enemy like that. You'll get a lot of bonus movement speed. There are, of course, combos with it, which I'll explain later. But basically, this allows you to get close to an enemy very, very easily. And the enemy cannot really run away from you because you get 50% bonus movement speed when you're moving towards an enemy. This is, of course, when you've maxed the ability. Second ability is where your main damage is going to be coming from because you're going to be, you know, when you build this champion, you're going to be going for like sort of a bruiser tank build and this is where your damage is coming from. So your, this ability, uh, Volibear mauls an, mauls an enemy, dealing physical damage to the enemy which skills with your attack damage and your HP. So tank and AD, Volibear is going to get bonus damage. If Volibear mauls a champion or a large monster, he goes into a frenzy for 8 seconds. Let me show you what a frenzy means. I'll maul it like that. It just does damage and it applies on hit effects, by the way. And you can see, wait, let me show you. You can see on the ability whether you are in a frenzy. So like this, you can see it's an eight second timer that slowly turns off and you're in a frenzy during this timer. So what does a frenzy mean? If this ability is used when in a frenzy, 
its damage is increased to 377 or it's increased basically it's increased and you uh, um, it does damage based on your physical based on your ad and your bonus hp and you restore a lot of hp you know you restore 40 plus 40 percent missing health this of course skills with level and you know what's interesting about this you can for example use this on this dude and then boom you'll do the damage on that guy as well you see boom boom i think i bugged it or something because i have no idea what it's doing or the frenzy just keeps it up i, I think yeah so it seems like whenever you're in a frenzy it keeps doing bonus damage regardless on what enemy you're on so if i use it like this you can see it does a little bit less damage and then afterwards you can keep using it on either this enemy or on another enemy another enemy so of course you can stack it up on a large jungle monster like this one you can stack up stack it up on your blue buff go on an enemy and instantly do the bonus damage you see that so a bit of an interesting ability right here that you can use like that um let's see third ability volibear summons a thundercloud that fires a lightning bolt it does damage plus a percentage of the enemy's maximum health so very very big damage against tanks and it slows them by 40 percent for two seconds as you can see boom it does take a while to land though so it's not the easiest ability to land but like if the enemy is running away this way for example you can put it behind him and then he's either forced to fight you or he's forced to walk into the ability um something else by the way you can use it in a bush you can use it like behind the bush like this and the enemy will not see it so like if they're walking into a bush you can use it like this and they'll walk right into it and you're instantly gonna slow them another thing you need to know about this ability is if you're standing within it whenever it charges like that you'll get a shield so it does damage to the enemy and it gives you a shield based on your maximum hp now let's talk about the ultimate, and this one is insane, okay? First of all, Volibear transforms and leaps, gaining 525 health, of course scaling with the level, and 50 attack damage for the next 12 seconds. So let me just show you how it works. You see that? And uh, so now I have bonus range, a little bit of bonus range, and I have more attack damage for 12 seconds. Secondly, upon landing, Volibear cracks the earth, disabling nearby towers for five seconds. What? Disabling nearby? Look, look at it. Boom! It's frozen. For five seconds. What? And you don't even have to hit the tower within the middle circle. You only have to hit it with a little bit, as you can see. Boom! You already freeze it. So basically, you can dive the enemy anywhere under the turret. You're going to freeze. Make sure you hit the turret, though, because if you, use it, if you use it like this, of course, you're not going to be stunning the tower. But, you know, you can, like, go in. Boom! You stun the tower, and you keep fighting the enemy. You try to take the tower. You do whatever you want. The turret is not going to hit you for five seconds. Of course, this is huge. But let's read more into it. You do damage. If you land on an enemy you do damage to them only in the middle part in the side part you're only gonna be slowing the enemy you're gonna be slowing them by 50 percent decaying over one second which is not a big slow by the way so you really want to make sure you just hit them for the damage as well and also you want to be right on top of them um so let's see now let's talk about the combos this champion is quite simple so the first combo is gonna be you know your basic attack cancel with your first ability basic attack first ability and then you want to keep fighting you can do the same thing with your second ability so basic attack second ability is also a basic attack cancel you know basic attack second ability basic attack and to kind of maximize your damage you can do like um so there's two different types of combos you can do basic attack first ability basic attack second ability basic attack this combo you want to do if you want to make sure you stun the enemy and you know keep them within your reach if you want to do the maximum overtime damage combo, you want to do basic attack second ability, basic attack first ability, and then your basic attack. You want to do it like that, because if I turn off zero cooldown, if I turn off zero cooldown, you can see that the second ability actually has a cooldown of four seconds. So you can fight like this and then use your second ability again. If you do it like this, you're going to be able to use your second ability faster than if you would have done it like this, where you do it like 
basic attack first ability, basic attack second ability, because now you can see it's on a 4 second cooldown, rather than a 2 second cooldown after my cooldown, after my combo, sorry, so like let's show you again, basic attack second ability, basic attack first ability, basic attack, now it's on a 2 second cooldown, you see, so I can use it again, you see how that works like that, so max maximum damage combo is basic attack second ability, basic attack first ability, basic attack, and if you want to make sure you keep the enemy close to you, you want to do basic attack first ability, basic attack, second ability, basic attack. And if you want to do maximum burst damage, and you want to keep the enemy close to you, basic attack first ability, second ability, basic attack. The reason that you don't want to do a basic attack after your first ability, if you just want to do fast, fast damage, is because it's true that your first ability cancels a basic attack, but it doesn't reduce the cooldown of your next basic attack. Because look, your second ability, basic attack, second ability, basic attack. You can do it very quickly. But your first ability is only a quick basic attack reset. So, basic attack first ability, but you have to wait the full duration for your next attack. I hope you guys understand what I've been talking about right here. So now let's talk about some more combos. You know, you, we all know you engage with your first ability like this. However, you can of course combo this with your third ability. And this is important because your third ability takes two seconds to go onto the enemy. Your first ability stuns the enemies for one second. So you can put it like, like if the enemy is running this way, you can put it like this, use your first ability, stun them, and then of course you're gonna hit your third ability. This is gonna make it much more easy for you to hit. So let me show you again. Your third ability, first ability, stun them within it, and then basic attack, second ability, basic attack. That's like, you know, further combo. So let me show you again. Use your third ability, first ability, stun them, basic attack, second ability, basic attack. Let me show you. Third ability, first ability, stun, second ability, basic attack. You can also throw in a basic attack, as I said. So it would be, it would look more like this. Boom, basic attack, second ability, basic attack. This is going to do more damage to the enemy, of course. And there is, you know, you can do the ultimate combo. Of course, we haven't been talking about the ultimate yet, which is use your third ability, you ult in, basic attack, stun, second ability, basic attack. And um, there's many different ways to do this. Like, should I really explain to you all of the ways? Because of course you can throw in basic attacks in between all the time. So you can use your third ability, you ult in, basic attack, stun, basic attack, second ability, basic attack. If you want to make sure you catch the enemy, third ability, and instant stun. I didn't do it instantly here, so let me try it again. Like that. You see, you instant stun them, so you make sure they're in your third ability. Um, let's see. Of course, you know, you can do these combos under the turret as well. And let me just read into my combos real quick. Ma fast damage. Mag okay, so there's two different combos. Your third ability, ult. Oh, I've already explained this. So, third ability, ult, basic attack, first ability, basic attack, second ability, basic attack. This is the fast damage combo. You know, you ult in, you instantly stun them, and you basic attack, second ability, basic attack. This is like the fast damage combo. However, the maximum damage combo is you use your third ability, you ult in, basic attack, second ability, basic attack, first ability, and then you keep going, and then you use another second ability. This one, of course, the enemy could potentially flash away, keep that in mind, but it will do more damage than using your first ability first. I know it may sound a little bit complicated, but it's much easier than it sounds, because these are truly the only combos that Volibear really has. Um, so yeah, let's talk about how to build Volibear. Volibear is not a hard champion. Oh, by the way, the way you want to upgrade your abilities is, first of all, you want to take your third ability. This can be very good in lane and uh, jungle clear. And you want to max your second ability first, then you want to max your first ability, then you want to max your third ability. So let's take a look at Volibear. I have many, many different builds for Volibear. First of all, we talk about the standard build, which is, I believe, the build that the game gives you. You know, if you go for Baron lane Volibear, even jungle volleyball. You can go for Divine Sunderer, Black Cleaver, and then Tank. This is the standard sort of a Bruiser volleyball build where you're good against tanks. This is a good build against tanks. Um, you can build a Trinity Force um, against Squishies, but keep in mind you don't want to build a Black Cleaver when the Trinity Force really because it, they have the same passive, the same Rage passive. So you won't be using the Rage passive from both items. That's why I recommend the Divine Sunderer. 
Um, so yeah, you go device under black cleaver and then full tank. So like late game, you're gonna be very tanky and you're gonna do good damage. It's like it's basically like Vukong. It's gonna feel like playing Vukong. And then for the runes, when you go for this build, you go for grasp of the undying in Baron Lane, Conqueror in the jungle, and then Brutal is always good on Volibear uh, and whatever you want here. A different build that I have is uh, is like a more of a tanky build. This is gonna be a build that you want to go against like a heavy AD composition. You go for Sunfire Ages and Iceborne Gauntlet. Iceborne Gauntlet is gonna keep them within your abilities more easily. Then you can build a Sterix Cage for more damage and then of course Armor. Deadman's Plate and Guardian Angel. Deadman's Plate is incredibly good already because your first ability gives you movement speed as well. So Deadman's Plate is gonna be further increasing that. Now for the boots, uh, you can go for Armor Boots, Mercury Threads. And then, you know, Stone Plate is really, really good. I'm not sure why I have a Proto Belt here, but Stone Plate is just very, very good in general. And then another build, which I don't know if this is going to be good. I really don't know, but I just want to put it out there. Since Volibear is like a very, very on-hit type of champion, you know, he has a lot of attack speed with his passive. His second ability applies on-hit effects. I feel like maybe like a full on-hit build is going to be viable. I don't know. I would have to try it, but I'm just going to show you guys this. It's going to be a Nasher's Tooth, then you build a Sheen, because you're going to be using your Sheen very often, Blade of the Doom King, finish your Trinity Force, and a Wits Ant and a Guardian Angel. Again, I don't know. And then for the runes, you go for Lethal Tempo, Brutal, and then whatever, whatever. I don't know. This may be a complete troll build, but maybe, maybe. And then for a full AP build, which may also potentially be viable, you would go for a Nasher's Tooth, uh, Riftmaker, Rabadon's Death Cap, Void Staff, and then whatever, you know, like you want to go for Banshee's Veal. Even, even a Lich Bane would be good, to be honest. Like a Lich Bane would actually be very, very good. So like you could even go for a Lich Bane a bit earlier on. So this could potentially be a good build. Like the last two builds I've given you are very questionable, but these two builds are 100% going to be good. Talking about the first build, if you want more damage, you can also substitute an item like a Deadman's Plate for a Sterix Cage to give you more damage as opposed to tankiness. Um, so yeah. That is going to be it for the Volibear video. It's going to be shorter than the Orn video because it's a much easier champion. So make sure you give the video a like, put down a comment, let me know your questions. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next Wild Rift video.